Already back? That was a short break, but I'm glad to see you again. All right, back with Hank and Connor. We're doing get a roadside meal. Software instability. Uh, reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. We'll give it a shot. I bet he gets pissed off with half the questions. Does I say chicken feed? Chicken food? Chicken feed, I think. It's kind of clever. <laughs> Gambling? This is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. What's he getting into? Read this. <laughs> what is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Nope. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Let's apologize for our behavior. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? I was being genuine. Uh, who's this fella? Gary Kays, business owner, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Uh, I would not be eating anything from here. Let's have a, yeah, let's have a look at his food. Uh, 1,600 calories. Holy shit. That's pretty standard, probably, for a burger. Soda, carbonated pineapple, passion. Sounds nice. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I like the old passion fruit hey. flavor. Now let's try and repair this. Let's ask about the gambling. This Pedro? He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> and you made a bet? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. You can't understand it. Uh, if we ask about cholesterol, he's going to crack the shit. So let's just enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Uh, Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh... Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? He went like this. Why do you hate androids so much? Mm, I have my reasons. I only got one option. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Awesome. Proceed. <laughs> we believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Makes sense. Emotions always screw everything up. <laughs> the androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh, let's tell the I truth. I graduated top of your class. 
You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? Uh-oh. Uh, we'll be sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> You get a wink. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I think he was impressed with us then. I'm not sure. Seems to be warming up to us a little bit. I hey, think. Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. All right, question the suspect. What do we know about this guy? No. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cat. Feathers. Different species of pigeon. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Knock again. Anybody home? Yes. Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. Go, Hank. And we're back. All right, let's find him. Unless he's escaped somehow. Lots of symbols on the wall. Reminds me of the symbol from Westworld. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Pigeons. Ah, Holy Jesus, Moses. This place stinks. Look at them all. That would drive me crazy. Okay, we've got a few things to check out here. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Not so sure. Or rather, not so fast. We might be able to track him down. My god, there's more in the cupboard. Imagine all the bird droppings. Clues. Urban farm poster. Okay. Mm, where's another one? Oh. Recycled paper recently moved. Yeah, there's got to be something behind it. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Oh, what's this? Journal? Lots of symbols. There's no way a human could be living in here with all these pigeons. Found something? You'd get sick, wouldn't you? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Ah. Yeah, there's a few things to investigate here. Doesn't eat. No, no. Android then. Gotta be.
Cares for animals, well that's pretty obvious. Jacket, second hand. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? Robert That's Thompson? Your mom does when you're in first. Rupert Travis. Okay. The driver's Forged. license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. <laughs> I love his sarcasm. Clancy Brown is the perfect actor to play this role to. RA9. Okay. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Wow. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Breaking their code, maybe? Getting out of the maze? Alright, let's have a look at the chair. What's that gonna tell us? Been still recently disturbed. Avian fecal matter. Hmm, I think everything's covered in that. Opened marker pen, so he was probably writing on there when we came in. Let's see. Yeah. Heard us and fell, maybe? Let's make sure we haven't missed any clues. He hears us. And he falls in his <laughs> falls in his attempt to get out. Uh, ah, Jesus, I hate these things. Unless there's a fire escape, he's still here. There was no way else for him to get out. Oh, I don't want to stick that in my mouth. Ugh. Blue blood. Reported missing. Might be one of the ones we saw on the um, in the database. And he's removed his little uh, communicator. Bio component. Its LED is in the sink. Okay. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking patients. Looking down on us. Maybe he's up top. Fine cause of blood. Finger marks. Fecal matter, no fingerprints. That's right, they don't have fingerprints, do they? Skid mark. Lovely. Traces of galvanized steel. Metal hook. What the hell was he doing here? A birdcage. Ah, maybe he knocked it over. I didn't know what it was when it was laying down. Yeah, okay, so he's knocked it. Run towards entrance. We're coming from there, so... He couldn't... have gotten out that way. Oh, shit! He is still here! Oh, the music! Love it! <laughs> Expose him. Here we go. Get ready for a fight. Ah. God damn fucking oh, pigeons. Get him. What are you waiting for? Chase it. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't stuff up these. Let's 
to get him. The music in this game it just pumps you up. Uh, fast but risky, easy but slow. Let's go fast. No, let's go. Let's go slow. Let's see what we're dealing with first. Balance safer detour. Yeah, let's go faster. Balance, sorry. Try and keep up with him. Safer, direct, go direct. Screw it, let's go the faster way. Hopefully, I don't stuff it up. Alright. We got him. We're on him. Ah, crap. Go round. Slow but direct. Fast but risky. Let's go fast. We've got to catch him. Oh, and I stuffed it. Oh, damn. That's alright, we're still on him. Oh, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Oh, I had to pound it. Slow down, you bugger. Direct but crowded, safer. Let's go direct. Look out. We're still on him. Come on. Somebody trip him up. Ah, oh, where's he gone? Oh, Hank's got him. Hey, oh no! Ah, damn it! Uh, 89. Ah, oh, we've got to save him. I'd save him, even if he was an android. Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Damn. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Ah, oh, there was a thank you there. I wonder if we'd gone for the android, whether he would have been shitty with us or whether he would have actually fallen. Hmm. Probably would have been shitty with us. So, two outcomes there. Yeah, having chased the android, maybe we would have caught him. Just a couple of things were in the in the apartment, but we found him. So that I don't know. Ah, oh, that was at the hamburger joint. So missed a couple of things in the apartment, but we did find him. Maybe there's ways of getting through it and not finding him, and maybe that's not having found him down there. Chased after him, gaining on him. Maybe we died, because there were a few where we had to jump over gaps, and one where we could have caught him. Okay. Well, that was fun. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.